Hello everyone, this is Sattvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool password cracking tool so which helps you in cracking some password protected zip files or rare files or pdf files which is named as Jydra so without getting any delay let's dive into the video guys first of all really really thank you for all your support uh, we are on the way to reach 5000 subscribers and uh, if you want to connect to me personally you can check out my twitter and linkedin the links are in the description below and if you want to uh, join my community and share one, share your doubts or suggestions you can check out my discord server the link is in the description below so guys as i previously as i told you before that this particular tool zydra is like a quite popular tool so uh, i've been using this tool since quite long time like whenever i find some a uh, password protected uh, what you call a rare file or zip file or a pdf file like in cdfs or uh, else somewhere i use this particular tool because this tool works absolutely fine okay you can see like this tool is a quite pop uh, quite older as well and also guys all the credit goes to the developer of this tool and you can see uh, it has been like a bit old there and also guys if you face any issues in future while installing this tool or uh, running this tool you can check out this issues section and you can try to uh, figure it out but if you think you can figure it out you can do let me know in my discord i'll do help you there so you can see uh, this is a bit a small description about this even it helps you in cracking this linux shadow files like linux shadow file is like uh, slash etc slash shadow so where you find uh, the password hashes of all the users uh, which is only for linux based like if you take uh, this uh, uh, windows there is something called as sam uh, security access system or security access uh, uh, manager or accounts manager or anything like that where you find the uh, ntlm hashes but uh, in linux shadow file is where you find all the hashes uh, of the Linux, of the users that are available in linux and it helps you in brute forcing as well and also you can do a dictionary based attack and these are some few files and also guys i'll leave the link for this in the description below for uh, so that you don't need to worry so let's start uh, uh, installing this tool so guys i'm using my parrot os here uh, feel free to use any linux distribution like it works absolutely fine even on uh, uh, this ubuntu or any linux distributions there are some clear instructions as well so you can simply go ahead so first of all you need to install this stuff okay so like uh, if you if you simply call, uh, clone this particular repository you won't be getting anything okay so you need to install some uh, uh, prerequisites okay so that this qpdf and unrar are some tools which helps you in uh, uh, going ahead okay and uh, so that is the thing i had already used this tool since long time so no need to worry and uh, once you install all these prerequisites you can simply do this uh, copy and paste this stuff and you can copy uh, so once you do all that you can simply copy this uh, repo uh, url of this repo and uh, let me do this bit small yes so i'll be going to my desktop so i'll simply do a git clone for cloning you don't need to add sudo and I can simply hit enter there so it is a small tool like it's only like 37 kb like a small tool no need to worry regarding that and you can simply navigate to that directory okay and uh, you can find like uh, if you do an ls you'll find some few files here so first of all uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, run this particular script.sh so before doing that you need to do a ch mod you need to give executable rights okay uh, plus x and uh, script.sh and you can simply do a dot slash script.sh so it goes uh, sudo by default okay no need to worry so it takes a small amount of time and uh, you can get your things done like uh, i had already i've been using these tools in long time so all these requirements are already done on my system so that's fine and you can see there are some good features as well guys some cool features like uh, as i told you earlier you can use a word list so that is what i recommend because uh, like brute force is not a thing that you can do every time and even there is a brute force option as well it is simple it is very uh, very much simple i'll do let you know how you can do that okay and uh, the best the best possible way is like uh, going with some uh, word list that's absolutely fine okay and uh, you can see like uh, there are many more stuff you can do so and also guys uh, you might uh, face few difficulties while running on if you while running this tool 
like as this tool is a bit older so you can check out the uh, this particular issue section so that it works fine so now guys you can see everything is done here so if I do an ls you can find out uh, at zydra.py so this is a python 3 based script and also guys uh, if you are running this tool make sure you have a python 3 installed on your system uh, so that everything goes absolutely fine so, but before that we need to give the executable rights uh, for this uh, Yep, and uh, what you can uh, do is python3 uh, zydra.py and hyphen hyphen help you'll get a small uh, kind of error there it's kind of an exception up down there so no need to worry regarding that but the tool works absolutely fine okay uh, like this is kind of an exception it's not a big worry so you can see uh, these are some few things and stuff uh, as i told you we'll do uh, everything we need and let me open a new tab so let us create a zip file i'll be showcasing this on a zip file and you can feel free to try this on a linux shadow file a rar file or a pdf file you can do anything like that but for this video i'll be going with this particular uh, uh cracking the password of this password protected zip file so for that let's create a file okay secret.txt let's create a small file so let me do that uh, my password is password is uh, uh, password at the rate 123789 something like that okay so this is my password and uh, this is confidential okay let me let me let's be some uh, simple confidential okay and let me save this thing so now you can see uh, there is a file there sorry so let me do a cat sorry you can see this is there is some content uh, which is available in this particular file so i'll add this to a encrypted gif like i'll try to uh, compress that to a dot zip file okay uh, with the help of a password so for that there is a utility called as chip so if you do hyphen hyphen help you'll find some few options but uh, i'll go simple here like this is like if i try to discuss regarding this particular zip tool like uh, it's going to be a lot more bigger so i will add an option hyphen e which helps me to encrypt and uh, let me you need to specify the name of the zip file okay what name you want to so pass a word protected dot zip you can feel free to uh, do like this is for zip only for dot zip files but for rad you can find other tools and for pdf you can find other tools you can feel free to try them out okay and uh, you need to specify the files that you want to uh, mention so i'll only uh, encrypt uh, i'll only add this to this zip file now it will ask for the password and i'll be giving a simple password which is password one and also guys uh, and the passwords that i'm using are only for like demonstration purpose never use simple passwords like this okay and it asks me for verify the password and you can see if i do an ls or i will do one thing uh, places and desktop and here you can find a zydra folder and here you can see a password protected zip file like if you try to uh, bring this out you can see a, a, a lock symbol out there so which specifies that it is encrypted okay like it is password protected or anything like that okay so if like as you know like if you we want to crack this thing but uh, as i told you earlier that we'll be using a dictionary based stuff like we use a dictionary or a word list so let's create a small word list as well okay a uh, word list dot txt and let me hit enter we'll give some few passwords uh sartwick one two three and uh, password okay you can also guys feel free to use any password word list i, I made few videos on how to create your own word list as well i leave the link for them in the description below you can do check them out but for demonstration purpose i'm going simple and low okay password one two three and uh, our password is password one let us assume that we have the password which is used in our word list okay okay and uh, this is my word list control s and control x so now we have everything here so what we'll try to do is we'll try to do uh, we'll try to uh, track that particular thing we'll try to open that particular thing up okay so but before that what we'll do is like we'll delete this particular uh, 
secret.txt file you can see there is a secret.txt file i'll delete that so that we can see like there is no file which is uh, which we wrote earlier okay so it is simple so you need to specify an option uh, at f to specify the file okay you can specify the path as we are in the same directory we can go uh, low here okay so i'll copy this thing you need to specify the zip file sorry or a zip or a rar or a anything like that anything is absolutely fine and hyphen d for the dictionary and what is our dictionary file it is uh, if you do an ls we'll have something like word list or txt simply copy this thing up here and uh, you can paste it out there and simply hit enter here so like uh, i'll show you no need to worry like since i enlarge this terminal a little bit so it is uh, like facing some issue with this uh, animations and stuff no need to worry you can see it found out the password as well it's the password one so that's absolutely fine it is faster as well uh, and uh, so i'll do one thing okay so i'll run this tool once again like you can see uh, what it is doing you can see it start cracking and like uh, progress is 83 percent and it found out the password password one this is as simple as this like if you are having a dictionary but let us assume that you want to go i want to do a brute force attack so how you can do that okay so here we have few options okay if i do a hyphen hyphen help there are few options like hyphen b to specify uh brute force and you need to specify what type of characters you want to like a lower case or upper case uh, letters digits symbols or anything like that even space as well okay uh, with the uh, separated by uh, what you call a comma and you need to specify the minimum so hyphen minimum length like what is the starting length of the word of the password or anything like that and what is the maximum length so i'll do that as well like to show you uh, it can be cracked in that way okay so like because the problem is like the brute force is not a recommended way like it takes hours or days or years okay it can it can take any time okay let us assume that there are only digits uh digits and uh what is that can be a lower case and we need to specify the minimum length of uh two so we'll specify the maximum length as eight and let me hit enter like uh, as i told you it takes some time because you can see the possible passwords are these many and uh, it is going to be a bit intensive on the cpu as well so i'm going to quit this thing as as of now okay uh, so that is it guys how you can use this particular tool uh, which is uh, named as zydra like you can find many tools like this but uh, from my personal experience i've been using this tool uh, since quite some time and this works absolutely fine for my case like you need to choose a right word list okay uh, for word list uh, for word list or how you can create this password word list i leave you a video for that in the description below videos in the sense because i made a lot a lot many videos on that topic so that is it guys for this video uh, if you like this video like if you like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and uh, really thank you for watching this video until then this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you